In this video, we will practice evaluating sine and cosine at special angles. This is AP Precalculus Topic 3.3. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. If you have not yet memorized these nine trig values, I want you to pause the screen and study it right now, and then take out a piece of scratch paper and see if you can recreate the chart from memory. On your next test or quiz, ask your teacher for a piece of scratch paper and uh, write down the chart real quick and then use the chart for the rest of the test or the quiz. Or you can just write the chart in the margin of your paper. Eventually, I want you to know these values so well that you don't need to write them down anywhere. It's just all in your head. But uh, we got to do baby steps. So until you have mastered it, at least be able to create the chart. Number one. The sine of 5 pi over 6 is the same as the sine of pi over 6, which is 1 half, except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. Looking at this denominator of 6, I want us to think of pi as 6 pi over 6. Then 5 pi over 6 will be one multiple before 6 pi over 6, which places it in the second quadrant. On the unit circle, cosine is the x value and sine is the y value. So since we are doing the sine of 5 pi over 6, this 1 half is a y value. And in the second quadrant, y values are positive. We are above the x-axis. So we will leave the answer as positive 1 half. For number 2, cosine of pi over 4 is just right on the chart. Cosine of pi over 4 is radical 2 over 2, which is equivalent to 1 over radical 2. Be comfortable with either version. In fact, I'm going to use the other version on number 3. The sine of 5 pi over 4 will be the same as the sine of pi over 4, which can be written as 1 over radical 2, except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We can think of pi as 4 pi over 4. So 5 pi over 4 will be one multiple past 4 pi over 4. So it's in the third quadrant. Sine is the y value on the unit circle. And in the third quadrant, y values are negative. So the answer is negative 1 over radical 2. Number 4, the cosine of 11 pi over 6 will be the same as the cosine of pi over 6, which is radical 3 over 2, except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. Looking at this denominator of 6, let's think of pi as 6 pi over 6. We can double that and think of 2 pi as 12 pi over 6. Therefore, 11 pi over 6 will be one multiple before 12 pi over 6. That's in the fourth quadrant. Cosine is the x value on the unit circle. And in the fourth quadrant, x values are positive. So we will leave the answer as positive radical 3 over 2. Number 5. The sine of 5 pi over 3 will be the same as the sine of pi over 3, which is radical 3 over 2 except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We can think of pi as 3 pi over 3, and we can think of 2 pi as 6 pi over 3. So 5 pi over 3 will be one multiple before 6 pi over 3. So it'll be in the fourth quadrant. That's weird. Um, sine is the y value on the unit circle. And in the fourth quadrant, y values are negative. So the answer is negative radical 3 over 2. 3 pi over 2 is not going to come off of this chart. This is a multiple of pi over 2. And pi over 2 is the value of each quadrant. So 1 pi over 2 is right here at the end of the first quadrant. 2 pi over 2 is right here at pi and 3 pi over 2 will land right here at the bottom. 
When we are dealing with values that are right on the line, we use coordinates instead of this chart. This is the unit circle, so this radius is a length of 1. So the coordinates of this point are 0, comma, negative 1. Cosine is the x value on the unit circle, so the cosine of 3 pi over 2 will be equal to 0. Number 7, 0 is the starting point. This is right on the line, so we will use coordinates. The coordinates of this point are 1, comma, 0. And sine is the y value on the unit circle, so in this case the y value is 0. So that's the answer. The cosine of 2 pi over 3 will be the same as the cosine of pi over 3, which is 1 half. Except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We can think of pi as 3 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 3 will be one multiple before that, which puts it into the second quadrant. Cosine is the x value on the unit circle, and in the second quadrant, x values are negative. So the answer will be negative 1 half. The cosine of 5 pi over 6 will be the same as the cosine of pi over 6, which is radical 3 over 2. However, it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We can think of pi as 6 pi over 6, which means that 5 pi over 6 will be one multiple before this. That's in the second quadrant. Cosine is the x value on the unit circle, and x values are negative in the second quadrant. So the answer is negative radical 3 over 2. Cosine of 5 pi over 4 will be the same as the cosine of pi over 4, which is equal to radical 2 over 2, except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. And we can think of pi as 4 pi over 4. Therefore, 5 pi over 4 will be one multiple past that. That's in the third quadrant. Cosine is the x value on the unit circle, and x values are negative in the third quadrant. So the answer will be negative radical 2 over 2. Number 11. The cosine of 5 pi over 3 will be the same as the cosine of pi over 3, which is 1 half. Except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We can think of pi as 3 pi over 3, and we can think of 2 pi as 6 pi over 3. So 5 pi over 3 will be one multiple before 6 pi over 3. That's in the fourth quadrant. Cosine is the x value on the unit circle, and x values are positive in the fourth quadrant. So the answer will remain positive 1 half. By the way, I'm drawing these pictures for instructional purposes. I'm hoping that you won't need to draw the picture to answer the question. You should be able to just picture it in your mind. But hey, if you need to draw the picture, draw it. 3 pi over 2 does not come from the chart. This is a multiple of quadrants. So uh, every quadrant is pi over 2. So this is 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2 is down here at the bottom. When we are on the lines, we use coordinates. And remember, this is the unit circle. So uh, this point is one unit down. So the coordinates are 0, comma, negative 1. And sine is the y value on the unit circle. So the answer will be negative 1. 13. The sine of 2 pi over 3 will be the same as the sine of pi over 3 which is radical 3 over 2. Except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We can think of pi as 3 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 3 will be one multiple before this. That's in the second quadrant. Sine is the y value on the unit circle, and y values are positive in the second quadrant. So we will leave the answer as positive radical 3 over 2. 
the cosine of 4 pi over 3 will be the same as the cosine of pi over 3, which is 1 half, except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. Pi can be thought of as 3 pi over 3. So 4 pi over 3 will be one multiple past this. That's in the third quadrant. Cosine is the x value on the unit circle, and x values are negative in the third quadrant. So the answer will be negative 1 half. The sine of 7 pi over 4 will be equal to the sine of pi over 4 which can be written as radical 2 over 2 or 1 over radical 2. Be comfortable with either one. Except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. Pi can be thought of as 4 pi over 4, and 2 pi can be thought of as 8 pi over 4. So 7 pi over 4 will be one multiple before 8 pi over 4. So fourth quadrant. Sine is the y value on the unit circle, and y values are negative in the fourth quadrant. So the answer will be negative 1 over radical 2. Number 16. The cosine of 7 pi over 6 will be the same as the cosine of pi over 6, which is radical 3 over 2. Except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We can think of pi as 6 pi over 6. Therefore, 7 pi over 6 will be one multiple beyond this. That is in the third quadrant. And cosine is the x value on the unit circle. In the third quadrant, x values are negative. So the answer will be negative radical 3 over 2. 17. The sine of 4 pi over 3 will be the same as the sine of pi over 3. That is radical 3 over 2, except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We can think of pi as 3 pi over 3. So 4 pi over 3 will be one multiple beyond this. That is in the third quadrant. Sine is the y value on the unit circle, and y values are negative in the third quadrant. So the answer will be negative radical 3 over 2. The cosine of pi over 3 is right on the chart. It is 1 half. The sine of pi over 4 is also right on the chart. It is radical 2 over 2. The cosine of pi over 6 is also right on the chart. It's radical 3 over 2. Number 21, pi is right here. When we are on the line, we use coordinates instead of the chart. And the coordinates of this point are negative one comma zero. Sine is the y value on the unit circle, and the y value is zero. So the sine of pi is zero. Number 22, pi over two is right here on the unit circle. Because we are on the line, we are going to use coordinates instead of this chart. And uh, the coordinates are 0, 1. Cosine is the x value on the unit circle, and the x value is 0. So that's the answer. Number 23, the sine of 3 pi over 4 will be the same as the sine of pi over 4, which is 1 over radical 2 except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We can think of pi as 4 pi over 4. So 3 pi over 4 will be one multiple before that. That's in the second quadrant. Sine is the y value on the unit circle, and in the second quadrant, y values are positive. So we leave the answer as positive 1 over radical 2. Number 24 is right on the chart. The sine of pi over 3 is radical 3 over 2. And that's it. 
Go grab a sheet of scratch paper and see if you can write this chart from memory. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.